Good morning, Arvo, and evening. Welcome to another day on the Van Heemen realm. As I'm slowly getting myself organized. <laughs> Just give me a moment. Got to make sure everything is working fine. Looks it. Wait. Cool. And hello, Mr. Owen. How are you, kind sir? Hope all is well in your world. But I'm out here on my silly island on Bohemian's Realm and looking for stuff to do. That's always good to hear. So, um, I'll be around for a bit. I was planning on jumping on a lot earlier than I have. But um, the unit next door was getting some work done to it. Um, they seem to have stopped the noisy stuff. But the handyman's truck is still out the front. So we will say, oh, hello, uh, Babu, how are you? I'm sorry, I always got to say hello like that, like to you. Not my fault. Um, <laughs> that's good, Babu. But yeah, that that'll be great, uh, Mr. Owen. Why well, you're you know you're always welcome on this realm, but what I was thinking of doing is, um, because have you seen this world, Babu? Like, this is, um, my own realm. I don't know if you've actually seen this or not, but yeah, this skyscraper here, in that grey square there is the recording studio. Yes it is, yes it is actually, thank you for the reminder. But yeah, I was doing those, well that middle bit. If I stop sneaking, there's the maroon tower in the middle. But yeah, it needs some detail. I need a board of this off. I need like a big, I don't know, M. I, yeah, I can't go MTV now, can I? That would be, like, there should be enough space on there to write like a Moz TV or Moz Chat because I call it Moz Chat. But I got to put a border around. Uh, how am I gonna? I can fly up there. I've actually went and grabbed myself some rockets. I spent quite a bit of time this morning. <laughs> I, I enjoy you jumping on and, and chatting. Like, very much, Lee. Like, good old different worlds. But, um, yeah, the good old studio here with, with the special effects that I still haven't fixed yet. Um, I'm going to fix them one day. One day. So, I think I like this one the most. And I can, yeah, put a sensor underneath it. Because the colours go everywhere. But I think something like this is going to be better, which I'm going to have to do with those other two rooms, I think. But, ah, uh, that's Blackstone. 
see what stuff have I left up here yeah I, I love how the fireworks work and the one like the trap door open up to let two through but the rest of them get caught on the carpet I I think that's quite a nice little effect uh, no blackstone in there none in there and none in there okay I'm gonna grab all this stuff I don't need a torch because this is still a mycelium island but people might prefer to be able to see what's going on so um I grab that as well I don't know if I've got one down there but the crafting bench and the bed can just stay there but no, nah, I need to come back up with some black stone because I think I need to put a border around this and I need to put some doorways through but yeah I need to put like at least some type of I might actually now I think that the uh, I'll fly down and I will actually hello Centurion how are you kind sir <laughs> the white light building material Ugh. In the other world, yeah. I'm, I'm pretty good. I was planning on jumping on a lot earlier than I have, but... Um, yeah, they're getting work done next door. <laughs> so there's a little bit of noise. Um, well, there's been a whole lot of noise coming from the um, unit next door. So... It's been a little bit... Frustrating. <laughs> but, 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 I just, I had no idea they were going to be there. And I do know they don't have to let me know. But, uh, um, they're still there. I just hope they're kind of finished. I just thought I'm, I'm actually going to take that up there. I don't, I came down, I've got the blocks. I'll go back up. But yeah, I'm just trying to do detailing on on this building. Um, Moz chat, which I'll I'm I'm leaning towards Moz chat. I'm really hoping it does fit. I'm not gonna stress about that. Just at the moment. Okay, you can go down on the ground. So, um, I think this is going to be the way to go. Because you can't really see from all the way down there the actual colour difference, really. But, yeah, you will be able to. But because there is the... the, the I'm overthinking because there is uh yeah that, that is it's so dark I've probably got my TV turned down on good old power saver I usually remember to fix that up mm, 61 might be enough Yeah, but now I'm streaming and I'm going to be on for a little bit. I don't think it's going to be one of the hugest, like, long streams. Um, just in the afternoon, I, I need to get a little bit mobile and do me exercises. Um, otherwise, me physio will get angry at me. 
if I don't do them earlier in the day. And a lot of the times I'm sitting there watching um, other people stream, like Centurion or like um, Dot Spots today, Dots Plot, Dots Plots. Where, where Babu's from? <laughs> as I do my exercises, but um, I'm a little bit afraid that I might have, oh, no, nah, get out there, might have overdone it a little, but you get that. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. I couldn't quite remember. Oh, yeah, there we go. I could have just done it that way, actually. Ooh la la, nearly. So I'm doing my darndest not to fall off this building today. That's that's just not part of the plan. It never is part of the plan. <laughs> I know you would be, but um, this world has been around. I am crouching. You see my little my little man in the top right hand corner. If he's there, that means I'm crouching. Top left hand corner. I know me left to right, but <laughs> um, before anyone has a go at me. Uh, can I get around? No! No! <laughs> uh, no, that wasn't flying. I went to push me wings to to say I was flying, but but no, that's 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 a number one. Um, but I thought, where am I going to land? I might as well just go all the way to the bottom. Uh, but I, yeah, needed to get in here. See, I don't need a whole stack of them. Um, so I'm just going to have to do it the slower way, which is certainly not a problem. Yes. Um, crouch. But now I will be able to get around those corners because I will have these walls to stand on. And one of the biggest bonuses of Bedrock over Java is the forward placement of blocks. Um, yeah, it's just, I don't know, the programming on Bedrock under, like, can deal with it. I don't know why it hasn't been brought into Java, but there's so many tiny little differences um, between the versions. I think this is probably the biggest difference. Way too, too many. OG. Oh, um, I'm going to go and have a look at this now. I thought I was flying. Why didn't I fly? Yeah, my wings are fine. That, that looks better. But hello, Mr. Owen. Welcome aboard. Um, over here. But nah, cool. I'm happy with that. I like that. And then when I go around... Hmm. So I think I need some column on the angled side. Each one of these flat sides will have something like MozChat or Big MC on each of these flat sides to make it look like it is like a recording studio. Um, this over here 
this curvy little bit. I think that's fine as it is. I might put some windows in there because there's no actual studio in that part. So artificial light can come in and I might make that into like the offices area. Yeah, I know, I fail. <laughs> I really tried to fly. Uh, but I think the main thing I'm going to want to do is some columns on here. And I think some, some, I'm actually thinking some granite. Granite or the diorite. Just don't know which one will actually look better. We'll go with granite. We'll go with some granite. Why? Because I got lots of it. And what I might do Do I have any die right inside? <laughs> XP farming. Cool Owen. Enjoy your little XP farming. But um Yeah, I've been at six. Could do walls, but because I'm just thinking two of them. I would take them as well. I don't want to use them, but I'll take them. I'm taking them pretty much because I might need them. You can't turn stairs into walls, but I might be able to like, alternate there. Mm, don't know, don't know. Oh, there's actually some labs. But yeah, this is how I build. It's all, uh, yeah, a thinking effort. Not a problem, Santorian. Thank you very much for the lurk. Very much appreciate it. And, and yeah, I'll be watching you later. Because Centurion will be streaming later this afternoon. Mm, I just saw the bars, actually. Could actually be a better idea. Um, but, 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 I know I'm overthinking. Like, my brain gets lost in its own thought. Yeah, like, if you're ever about and you see Centurion on, I would highly recommend watching. He's a very down-to-earth bloke. Um, yeah, I, I very much spend a, way too many hours watching them stream. And they are a very big supporter of the channel. Which I can't thank enough. Ooh, I'll, I'll just make him. Stop being silly. Just make them. So we'll use them for something. But what I'm thinking on this diagonal, I'll mark it up here. Oops. And I didn't even land where I, or did I? Ooh, I actually landed kind of where I needed to. That was a good fall. <laughs> I know, I was, I'm very lucky that I got <laughs> the perfect landing. Um, I'll just use these blocks at the moment to create the ability to walk around. 
you don't. Yeah, I'm crouching. I'm crouching. Because I want it above that there. So if I, like, I'm only a couple of blocks away from exactly where I wanted to land. Or, well, where I need to be. But I'm thinking wall there, and then one, two, wall there, and and then a, just a very thin line of that going up. I think that is actually going to work on both sides. The um, granite, 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 granite. Some people, potatoes, potatoes. Um, that I should be able to build it up like this and be able to do all three at once. I wish I just could actually keep talking <laughs> when I concentrate for that millisecond. I find myself, like, drifting out because I'm concentrating so much. It's, it's silly. No, you're fine. You, like, you can... I'm more than happy for you to pressure me to talk. I'm I'm always out. I that's why I'm saying I I need to relax a little bit more and not worry. Like well, falling doesn't phase me. Dying certainly doesn't. Ah, placing blocks in the wrong spot. Well, yeah, that that's frustrating. <laughs> Yeah, I'm always out for a giggle and a laugh, and and I'm quite happy to point out some of the sillier things that I do, or yeah, the stuff I can't see. I just did it then. Stuff I can't help but do. Okay, I'm gonna fall here, but it's going to be on purpose. Completely on purpose, okay? That was a purpose. I, I try. Oh, it's kind of, yeah, who I am. <laughs> Us. Ugh. Aussies can't take ourselves too serious. Oh, that wasn't planned. Oh, yeah, it was. See? See, I had to pick up me blocks. Why are those four? Ah, uh, it's just lighting. Yeah, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. I think that's really helped. And then when I get around to putting something on these big side walls. But I'm, I'm thinking I'm going to have to do something up that wall. And that wall is... Or maybe not that wall. I can just leave it as the curve. Unless I want to come through and put another curve black line. Yeah. I'm going to put another black curve line through there. And this one here. It's one, two, three, four, five. I. Um, I think I might just go with granite. Like straight up the center and just have one line. Good old less is more. Um, cool. Now just around to the other side. I don't. I left me scaffolding somewhere. Bar humbug. I will quickly go for a run. I know where I would have left it. Back in my industrial zone. 
So I'm just gonna. Yeah, I'm. I'm really happy with the way it actually looks. Very stoked. Right, quickly run off to the industrial zone. Yeah, I'm on. I know I've got a water boat which travels so much faster. But yeah, these are my little piglin farm. Quite a few in there that do automatic trading. Um, you throw gold um, ingots at them and they give you goods. And that's a system that I somewhat, yeah. No, I did, um, I did actually design that one completely myself. Um, some of the redstone I've taken from some of these other farms that I've done. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, I think all of us could go a couple of gold ingots or two. Um, but, ugh, go back up here. But yeah, I've got a lot being farmed here all at once. I thought I left it in there. Uh, I really thought I put it in there. I might have left it because I was sorting out the, like the mob drops and sorting all this out. So I had to empty my inventory. This is some of the supplies that I've moved out of there. Yeah, there they are. Yeah, like I'm going to be building a castle in that other world as well. Like, like the other world. Um, in in the Orc Kingdom, it's a little bit of a trial run. I haven't made um, many castles. Or fortresses or strongholds whatever you want to for them and I'm really got ambitions <laughs> um, the one on the altered kingdom is like I'll just I'll go back to the island which I've got to go there anyway but I'll go for a fly because you roughly know the size of the Orchid Kingdoms, like the Black Castle I'm building there. Um, I'm going to be somewhat using the same colour palette there, but with like the Prismarine blocks also mixed in. But all of this land here is going to be the castle. So if I fly straight up, And now slow myself down. You will be able to see how much bigger this space is compared to the Orchid Kingdom. I would say this is this could nearly be ten times bigger than that one. But I'll be building all the small little houses and little farm zones and this one will actually have the farm raised but inside of the castle. Um, the walls will be probably about twice as high. Um, <laughs> like the snow you got last week. What? What, this ground? Or this rain? Ah, oh, yes, yes. It definitely would have. Um, there? Not there. There. Yup. Ah, 
I love scaffolding. This stuff is awesome. Okay, now I'm also crouching. But yeah, this is the smart stuff to put around to make sure you don't fall. With it being scaffolding, <laughs> it's wonderful. <laughs> don't ask me why I don't do it more regularly, because that took no time. Um, one, two, one, two, not ah, awesome, that's, that is the same. I just didn't know if this was going to be as large as the other side, I didn't, like, really think that far ahead. <laughs> As we were talking, like, you definitely need a scaffolding license. But yeah, we were on um, Dot's stream earlier, we were talking about some of the silly laws that we have here in Australia. The good old having to get a, like, it's still somewhat illegal to change your own light bulbs. Um, by the law, you're supposed to get a sparky in, or electrician, um, who, like, change them for you. But yeah, there's good old pics and memes going around of pictures of police officers actually changing their own light bulbs. So, yeah, it's certainly not uphold. But I've also got, like, a chainsaw license. Um, I've, yeah... There's a lot of things that are different. And at one point, there was a thing called a ladder license that you had to get to climb a ladder in public. So, yeah. It, one of those weirder things about Australia, we don't like to take laws out. So, yeah. Ooh. And we'll just pop out here. Just concentrate for that little bit. Purpose falling. I'm gonna say it would be Mr. Owen's lunchtime soon. Because I've already had my lunch. Most people here in Australia have lunch more around the one o'clock in the afternoon than twelve. No, I'm really happy with that. That's worked nicely. Now, those high towers, I want... Mmm... The red red will, will look good because I think the center is red. Okay, Mr. Owen left the game, but now he was slain by a skeleton. Yeah, yeah. Um... Like, school's out here, lunchtime is more around the one o'clock. Um, but we don't start school until nine. Um, and then usually finish anywhere between, like, three o'clock and three thirty. Ow, stay on the scaffolding. Yeah, it is red. Cool. I just thought it would be a nice thing to put some lighting. Ooh, that got awfully thin. I can't place a torch anywhere. 
Oh, we've got some space. There we go. Don't know where I... Oh, there. No idea there where I put... But yeah, then all of that's red. But I've left this scaffolding here because I still need to get all the way up to there. Uh, I'm falling on purpose. But I can't fall all the way because this... Yeah, I remembered it's too thin. Go down. Must have been like a wall or something that I was getting caught on. Thank you. I want to fall down. Boing. The bed does absorb some of it, of of that fall damage. So, yeah, never a bad thing to have a couple of beds sitting about. But, um, I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it. I think I'm going to have to scaffold or mm, can I fly into the side of the building at the top? Why is there a wandering villager? Oh, I landed it! What? How? Just... Mate! Why? Like... What? <sighs> it makes all the video sense game sense. If that makes any sense. I know, like, just why would he be up here trying to sell stuff? Like, who is his market that he's trying to sell to constantly making oh i am crouching that's why it looks strange okay yep um because i'm thinking down on these edges thinking yeah the Red nether brick, but I'm also thinking I should take out two, three. Um, there's no floor there. <laughs> Oops, uh, it seemed like a good idea, it certainly wasn't like. Taking the block you're standing on away from yourself is not quite the best idea. Um. Oops. Yeah, hi, I can see your nose. Yeah. That's. Oops. Didn't mean to plant that there. I'll take them out. Because I actually want to go... No! Thank you. Up here. Because I should be able to take that out. Yep, yep, yep. And get here. Okay, now it doesn't matter if I fall. <laughs> um... Mate, I don't know what to do with you. You're a pain. I'm sorry. But over there. <laughs> um. Oh, look at me being smart now. Because, I think it's going to, I think it's going to work. Ooh, oh, yep. No, I need to go up, don't I? 
<laughs> You're around here. Uh, I knew you had to have a friend somewhere. Just why? You're annoying. It's just... I certainly don't want to be pushed off. Falling by myself is just my own stupidity. Oh, you can step around the... Oh, not while you're crouching. Step around the corner. Take that out. Okay, that's the first one done. And I'll come down here. One, two... Fall off. Oh. I'm onto it now. Oh. So that was five. Pretty sure it was five. Might just... just put that there for now. One, two, three. Three, four, five. Yeah, 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 yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, you never know. I can never really remember my number sequences for the build when it's been like a week or so since I've been on here. But very much enjoying the, the Awkward Kingdom. Um, Quite enjoying the build I'm doing over there because okay I can't fall off this one oh, I don't have to step around it sweet but just I don't know bringing this color up I just in these small little spots. And I want to fall down there. One, two, three, four, five. That's five again. One, two, one, two, three. Oh, hello. I'm going to go around to the last side first. One, three. Oh, what the, I don't need to count that. I know how much to break out, just every anything that's along that line. Oh, well, that corner, little bit. That's too high. And just as I say I don't need a count, I have to stop and go, uh oh, is it? Yep, it is. Wrong placement. But yeah, I've been working on this world for like 12 months now. So it's certainly not a new world. And, um, on just a little bit of info on my, down there, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, mm. so five. One, two, three, four, five. That's there, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, well, I looked at my info on, oh, I don't know, one of, like, the Xbox info thing, and it said that in total I've played, um, like, this game in general for nearly 70 full days 
um, I was like, I put some time into this world. Because I, the computer, I had that when I um, started this world, but I didn't play Minecraft on the computer. Okay, might actually. Because there's no way I can reach it. Hey, that's actually the same height. Awesome. Down a bit more. Um, yeah, I pl started playing on the Switch. And then, um, I got some controllers for the computer. So then I could actually play it on the computer. Um, much better idea. The Switch was shocking compared to playing it on the PC. Cool. We're at the bottom. There's going to be scaffolding and stuff just sitting around in a couple of different places. Ooh. I know you can do it, but I still get scared. <laughs> One, two. Ah, uh, it's yeah. Nothing to fear. Nothing to fear. But for you to have a second or five to laugh at me for falling off again by a. I know it's entertaining. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's not it's not the falling. It's the sudden stop. That's usually what hurts. Uh, I really don't want to be doing some type of silly action by uh, falling when I don't need to. At least I I don't know why I fell then. No reason for it. We'll just do that. As I said, I love scaffolding. It's a very helpful block. I don't know what... I know people just used dirt back in the day. And a lot of people still do use dirt or sand. Oh, there isn't a corner here anymore. Okay. That, that was the idea <laughs> because I'm, I'm getting closer to the ground so I'm not all the way up there at 180 I'm only at 130 now and I'm falling on the ledges of this world if right now I want to go down there and most of the time now, I'm actually falling on purpose, which is certainly, um, that was two, that was three, one, two, three, I'll put that in, ah, oh, it's a five or a sixer, I don't know, hey, I got rid of you, block, Cool. Haha, -ha, got around the corner. You'll need to explain to me how... Um... Uh, um... I... Don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking fell out of a plane, but not many planes go by. Um, I'm thinking they took a wrong turn at Albuquerque, and Albuquerque must be on the ground, and they really took a bad wrong turn. Um, 
he decided for the one person that is working on this building like there's a whole community down the bottom of like humans i would think being around the group of humans would be profitable more than standing on top of a skyscraper um, trying to sell your goods to the person that is building the skyscraper. I would think that most people that are building a skyscraper would have most supplies already. But, but, but if that's what he chooses, that's not a problem with me. If they wish to be on top of... Do, do, do. A building and get one customer. What well, one customer every two weeks? <laughs> oh, I think it was last week I was actually on this world last, so I shouldn't, yeah, pick on myself for that. <coughs> and is there another? Oh, there is still another small. Don't know how big this one is. It's only a three. Cool. And now I'm back down here again. Hello. Um, the fortress is coming along really, really nicely. I've built a sheep farm in that starter home like shearing shed um i've built a cactus farm out beside the veggie patch um yeah the wool farm has all 16 colors um it's absolutely getting along nicely i will be back on the awkward kingdom soon but um, this is my world. This is Van Heeman's. This is the world I have been falling off. No. <laughs> I flew. Ah, that's annoying. <laughs> yeah, this is... Um, I'll run you through the story. Uh, thank you. Thank you. I've put, like, this has taken me 12 months to do all this. I've also got an industrial zone which is an ocean monument that I drained out and built, yeah, crazy amount of, like, redstone-y things. Um, I'm, I'm pretty good with redstone. I know the bare basics. I can make machines and stuff out of them. But bedrock, yeah, redstone is not the nicest. But that side of the island there is going to be the castle that I'm making on the other realm. Um, when I say that it's, you know, I mean a sample, it's a little tester of what I'm going to be doing. But yeah, that side over there would be nearly 10 times the size of the fortress and castle on um, the Orchid Kingdom. So the Orchid Kingdom is just a demo. <laughs> But it's going to take time. It, that up there is Cactus Farm. Um, that's my starter home, which is very much based on a Queenslander-style um, house. I've um, got my veggies all in there. There's two layers of each, um, like veggie. Um, but the story is a king or a person came here, um, found this mushroom island and built a castle and then invited the locals to come and share the peaceful land with them and that's why all of these like my style of a villager home um from mushroom blocks uh here um they're a bit bigger than what the standard like i probably should just take out these walls because none of the villagers can actually get into their houses most of the time. But, yeah, then down the back here, 
is where all of the librarians that I did have in my trading, but we moved them out and put in um, uh, quartz people, stonemasons. But yeah, this is all... This is the first time I've ever done a uh, Mushroom Island. Um, I was really lucky one of the other players found it really early off. And I'm like, yep, that's what I want. Because I've tried to stay as traditional to a villager style house. But as you can see, mine are a lot more spacious. And, and a little bit more detailed. Um, and then, yeah, this bone thing here is kind of the, 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 the mushroom of the land. <laughs> um, I don't know, it was just to put something here. I decided that a big rock with a mushroom growing off the top of it is a good idea. <laughs> but I'll quickly just run back over here. Um... Because, yeah, this place here is completely, like, that's a bathroom. But the tool things in there, people started locking on. But I've somewhat made all of these into, you know what I mean, librarian units. Um, little balcony off the back here. Um, and, like, the terrace, the rooftop... And this, yeah, second level, all the same. Um, but up here, I, I really like, I mean, we transfer into the wood as we come up here. And it's a nice little treetop. But also up here, you get a nice view of the Mega Mushroom and, like, the rest of the stuff. Thank you. Like, I really enjoyed building this. Um, and... I, all of this is actually up on YouTube. The good old um, just replays from the uh, streams I put all up on YouTube. So all of this is on there to be seen. To say, see, I built it. Um, yeah, it's just how I do it. And I'm now finishing off this building here. Now, those dashes, I think, are perfect. It really does. That white building is actually the server's government. It's the Bob, the Bureau of Boats. Um, we've had issues with boats in the past. So, yeah, a Bureau of Boats where you've got to register your boats. And, and not build boats unless you need boats. Or, yeah, it's all law. Um, but, yeah, all I've been doing today is putting a little bit of detail into the side of this upper building. Which I'm pretty happy with now. Um, I still need to put some windows in that top, top tower. This rectangle has got my studio in it. Yeah, I, I think it's all it really needs. Like, of course, some windows now to go up on to that top tower. Um, but I don't want to do the colour on the other tower. Just the windows. But... Because um, if we go all the way up here... Now, I'm, I'm really liking that. Yeah, if I put the colour onto that one, I think it would be a little bit too much. I just need to come through and put in the um, grey, dark grey um, stained glass. Um, just to give it a little bit of more vertical lineness and horizontal. Because I need to maybe put a, yeah, a horizontal windows along them. That there's going to have a big Moz Chat sign written on it. i got to, yeah, do some thinking with some good old graph paper and draw up 
the letters and because there's nothing more annoying than climbing up and building it um, and then coming back and looking at it and it's no good. So yeah, I've always got just a small little exercise book um, that has the standard gridded like graph paper and I just use that. I've got the biggest square ones and just do quick little color ins um, into those squares to be able to design it. Like, I think it's something that everyone that's getting into a big, big build need, like, because I did it for that over there as well, the upside down pyramid. Um, I do got to get some glass and finish this um, dome thing around the bottom and then start building the botanical garden type thing in there. Um, I'm just going to get all the different trees and plant them in there and all the different flowers and yeah, make it look like some type of botanical gardens. Um, I don't know if other places have them, but they're everywhere here in Australia where you go off and you buy um, like the plants from the different countries and, and it's a garden that's got sections from everywhere around the world. But now I'm, I'm happy with that because I was thinking I was going to need to do a lot more. But I don't think I do. After I put in the windows, I'm actually thinking, like, if I do much more, that's tinted. Yeah, that's the grey glass. Yeah, less is more. I said that on your stream earlier today. Oh, well, dot stream, but I see it as a, as a group stream more than just dot stream um but yeah i'm a big believer in less is more um like i like the mega detail i've done around this bottom part but then as your eye is drawn up i wanted nice straight lines um to be able to see all the way like to take your eye up so you notice the big mushroom and the upside down pyramid and yeah, it it is a purpose. You know what I mean? So oh no, I didn't <laughs> didn't set off a rocket because most people come in through the portal, but um, there's I need to build like a seaport off that side. Um. There will also be one at the back for the castle that I want to build like a more of a modern day um, like pier off here. Um, I want to take out quite a bit of this here yet to open it all up and that's the moat that will be flowing through here but we're just so high from the water level it's going to take me forever. I've got to dig this out a couple more. But yeah, so when you're coming in, the building is really sending your eye upwards. So, I'm quite happy with the way that it's turning out. Because yeah, nah, that's, that's looking really cool. I've never actually came and looked from it from that way. I know it's going to be a mega bucket. Like effort, need a bucket brigade. It, yeah, what we used to call the fireys back before their yeah, modern technology. I think most places had somewhat of a bucket brigade. Nah, the skyscrapers worked out really nice. I don't just need. I might actually fly. That, yeah, the mushroom's huge. <laughs> Took me, I think, like two weeks to build all that. Um, put a lot of effort into that. But where, yeah, that's the boat that is at zero zero. Um, this was built in the first month of the server. Um, I chopped down all the trees for it. Um, no, I just 
grew the mushrooms and chopped them down. I did have a like the area where the castle was going to be. It was just rows of mushrooms and me walking along, hitting it with bone meal and chopping it down. But um, yeah, I chopped down all the trees for this, where the other moderator of the realm built it. I chopped down a good couple of thousand oak trees. So it's absolutely massive. You get lost in that place. As we come into my industrial zone, um, I got the most ultimate compliment that, oh, a couple of weeks ago. Another streaming friend, Yeti, came and had a look at it, and he's like, ah, oh, I've walked into Mumbo's world. Um, Mumbo Jumbo is a very big red stoner on YouTube, and it's like, I could only wish I was anywhere near that good. I've got a thing or two being farmed here. Iron, um, sugar cane, mob drops, right at the top, black ink, um, yeah, bees, um, moss farm. <laughs> yeah, I, I still enjoy Mumbo. I, I, I very, yeah, watch a lot of the hermits. So. That's how I did a lot of this. I l learned how to do this circuit that, you know what I mean, detects if there's anything in the minecart. And that was about it. Um, oh, this zero tick farm over here is a little bit more like something else I got off. YouTube cha um, channel. <laughs> there, I <have> a... <laughs> um, but most of this is just trial and error. Um, I just gave it a go. Um, bees annoy me because I had them automated with the shears, but the honeycomb would fall out in odd directions, and I didn't want to have to build a mega mega box, but yeah, it was just annoying. So I made it so it's semi-automatic. Um, right, there's a couple of things here that are semi-automatic. Something about understanding gets... Oh, very much. Like good old teach a person how to fish. Um, learn from a tutorial. Don't just copy. Block. If, you, if you're looking at it block for block... Um, you're not going to learn anything, but if you sit back and watch the whole thing and go, okay, then I want that part of the circuit, um, and you learn how to do it, then it's, like, not that difficult to then start thinking stuff up yourself. Um, like, this here, I haven't actually seen anyone else I've seen people with similar type of farms. Oops, I fell. No, I didn't. <laughs> I should stop announcing it. I just so automatically say it. But that sends off an alternating signal, which shoots the arrows. Ah, there's still one standing there that I can shot. Fall off. So then that knocks off all of the flowers. Um, then I come down here and I, I crank the machine. Um, this... One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Or maybe eight. Because you got a, you know what I mean, you've got the water dispensers there, the arrows shoot off up there. And then underneath here, I just re-got that same detection. And I send off the minecart. And then the minecart goes along and picks it all up. 
um, when it, like, I turn it off, so I don't really need the detector there, but sometimes I forget. So now that goes down there, and I just come in here, which I've already set these up into tens, and I've got too much stuff in my inventory. Give me a second, I just gotta get rid of something. I need to eat. Yeah, 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 like, that's what I use arrows for, because I'm an infinity bow. Um, I, I don't use the bow enough to care about, like, mending. So, I had truckloads of arrows. And I'm like, what can I do with all of the arrows? And then I started thinking of shooting the chorus fruit. And... Yeah, it just seemed to all work. I can get rid of them now. Like, work in my head. And I'm like, I've seen others do something similar. But I haven't actually seen the complete... <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you me cows in a second. Because once again, we don't have entity cramming like Java people. Though, good old cows. You can't do that automatic bubble system that they do. But yeah, then they take no time to grow. Um, but yeah, over here is my version of a cattle farm. Grab some wheat. And you walk up here, and all the cattle are somewhat stuck in this, you know what I mean, big Y shape. So you can encourage them to walk around. I've got too many in there, I know I do. But, and then underneath me here, there is water that pushes down this way. And then they all come in there, as babies. Yeah. And then the babies all grow up, and then with my looting sword, I go swipe, swipe, swipe. And I got all that. Like, most of the leather is in my shop back at the, um, like, the community village the shopping district um and selling it um there um same as like i've got an iron shop i've got a, like a supermarket and a 7-eleven the 7-eleven i do along with fun gun um who's the other admin um and that just sells lots of bips and bobs where the supermarket is where you buy armor um because everyone that joins the realm actually gets a hello gift. And that gift has um, all the best armor and some tools. Um, about nine months ago, there was a glitch in the game. Um, and I, it was only in the game for like two weeks. It was just crazy. Um, you shot a... Do you have a uh, what time for? Follow a. Don't understand. I probably don't because I'm certainly nah. I thought that's what you were meaning. Um, I'm learning. Like, like, I, yeah, <laughs> I'm not tech savvy, and I was completely out of it for a very long time. <laughs> See, I'm, I'm learning. Um, I was out of the gaming community for about 10 years, and I've only got back into it um, the last three years. I was right into it, like, 
years and years ago. Um, like I started playing um, on the Atari was was when I um, yeah they were the modern thing back when I started playing and have grown up with the I'm here for glass aren't I? I had to remember why I was actually here. Um, but yeah, I've, there was a glitch that you could take advantage of weapons and tools to duplicate. And I kind of did it. It yeah, had, um, like for the armor one, it was shooting some harming arrows into a gate and you stood underneath it and you opened the gate and all the arrows would fall on your head and the whole screen would like the right hand left hand side of the screen would be covered absolutely covered in i died and it just said moz dad 11 died moz dad 11 died moz dad 11 died and i had Tower, I think it was about eight chests high with hoppers in between each of them and there was still a pool of like gear at my feet that didn't get picked up after that filled up so it was a crazy crazy duplication so I know but I then spent a lot of time in the um, end, as you can see, letting shulkers shoot themselves and others and filled up pretty much a tower with lots of shulkers and just kept on, yeah, killing them when there was too many and I've got truckloads of shulkers. That isn't a glitch, that's just playing the game, you know what I mean? using the duplication and um yeah and now i give everyone a box of armor and so forth um so but yeah anyone that wishes to get involved in the realm like i have quite a few people whitelisted they're all on my discord to make Golkathon. Yeah, yeah, I can understand. Yeah, because I had to fly around. I flew for ages and ages and ages. I certainly don't have a shortage of rockets. Um, like, I walked to one, got what I needed, came back, filled up a shulker with rockets, and just flew off in a distance. Um... In the gift box, there's wings for everyone, there's the armor for everyone, um, and a selection of tools, like all netherite, um, enchanted tools. Um, a lot of the weapons, I spent a long time grinding to make them. But, once again, the loot from the end cities really helped in making, you know what I mean, 30 odd picks so then yeah everyone gets a silk touch and a fortune so yeah i think some of the boxes have even got two silk touches in it um my work box has about seven same as shovels because when i go off and do something i don't want to be coming back and forwards uh, like the experience farm because that's a gold farm Horns in um, piglins as they fall down there, and I go, hey -ya! Um, And the whole lot, yeah, these things here, it wasn't until I had finished draining all of this and building all the glass and all that, I found out that you didn't have to do it. Here on bedrock, there's certain spots that they spawn from. And the spot is in the center of this cube here. So you can see where the water comes down. It's in that line. So there's two blocks where they can spawn in there. And it's a grid. I think it's like every, might be every chunk 
I think it's, yeah, 16 apart. And all you got to do is put a block down and fill all of that hole <laughs> to be able to stop them spawning and leave one of them open. But, well, I had already done this, so... I turned it into an industrial zone. So, yeah, I can stand here and I can AFK like 15, 20 things. Um, but when I automate everything, it's... Uh, including the piglin um, bartering, I think it's nearly 50 odd items I can collect. That's what all of these black shulkers along here for. Uh, for the stuff I'm taking to the shopping district and stuff that I've already taken to the shopping district So <laughs> Yeah, just just a little bit uh, Now that but thank you it, It's just it's fun. I really enjoy it and I've got so much time in my hands um, I Yeah n Quite I need to take because over like it's this bamboo that's an automatic bamboo and this one here is a bone meal bamboo so this is one that I also had to like watch the tutorial for and learn how to be able to send signal up and down which is never fun in this silly game but yeah i've got so much like bones it's crazy and i've got to go up all the way up to the top we'll see if i can actually land on my landing pad Ooh. see i've got slime box there to land on can i can i Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't believe I missed that. Uh, I really don't like... Ah, oh, done it. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, this here is my little wood farm. That's above the mob farm. Um, it has to be a certain level above the water, so squids don't spawn down in the water, but they will spawn here, and then, yeah, get sucked down with the magma. And professionally falling to be able to get the ink. So I can do blacks and greys, but once again, there's that same <laughs> pog. <laughs> It's all. It always a uh, pleasure to get a, a a pog in chat. I, yes, left a pog or two in plenty, and for the people like player of game. The uh, RC lantern, solid. Yeah. These. I don't know. Oh, did you think they like gravity, like sand and gravel? But yeah, nah. There, 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 there. One of my favourite things. Um, I have made so many that even that farm down there has got a shortage. As you can see, I lit up all the water around the area. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, no, nah, that's one of the reasons why I like them, is because they are solid, you can't see through them, um, they are just a nice clean colour. Yeah, oh, okay, oh, that, because it's this here that you're talking about, isn't it? Um, don't think that, now you do need that block there for this, cir for this circuit, don't you?
Yeah, that wouldn't work. Yes, 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 yes. No, I'm onto it. I just had to re-remember the circuit. And remember, yeah, it's the signal getting sent through. <laughs> I learn something new every day. I try to. I really, really try to. <laughs> Sometimes I'm not that successful. But... I... I... Rah, lava! I also do a nether survival, which is not quite survival, it's more nether, I'm going to walk in lava. Or we like to call it wearing lava as a hat. I have been told it's not good for me, but these fashion, is it's more important. Um, I, I like my hat wearing lava. Um... <laughs> I die so much. Um, it's it's just crazy. <laughs> I think, yeah, I, cause I'm not phased about dying. Levels like in this world, levels are nothing. I've got enchantment bottles, like so many, from um, villager trading. Because in my villager farm, all I've got in there is farmers and clerics. Um, the farmers are for golden carrots, and the clerics are um, for enchantment. And back at the actual community shopping district, I've got an emerald shop, and... Uh, the withers, no. Withers, I, I created a wither box. I made a box out of um, obsidian, like two layers of obsidian, then filled or covered that with water, and then another obsidian box around the outside of that with TNT that automatically drops in from the roof um, to kill the nether, um, to kill the wither, and it usually still gets out of that at least once. Um, out of, because the last one I spawned in got out and left the hole in the side. But there, like, they've, once again, my big argument is we need it equal, either Java gets our, um, with her. Or we get theirs. It, there's just it's like ours is twice as hard than what theirs is. So I n just no. <sighs> Sorry, just just no. For no reason. It's it's numbers. It's just a couple of numbers in the programming. Like it's not. And also we get with the skeletons that decide to drop in on second phase. Why? Why why don't I thought there was a crafting bench in there. Ah, uh, it's all the way up the top. That's where I do have to actually go. But why do we get with the skeletons? Why do they Yeah No they don't They don't They like Um this year on Hermitcraft Tango built a wither farm using the roof of the nether and the bedrock um scam completely 100 percent i i don't get it i they, oh that's a long way up there isn't it <laughs> okay now i need to work out how am i actually going to do this glass. I've still got the wheat on me. No wonder I lose. And one bit of gold. Go away. I wish you could eat it like like a chicken nuggy. Um, put it away. I've always got a flint and steel on me because I'm always paranoid that I'm going to break um, the nether portal. Because I swing and I sometimes forget. 
and it why do I also have pork chops? I have no idea why I have pork chops. Makes no sense. Oh well. Um, <laughs> Redstone is from the studio and I can put that away. Because... Black... No, hey, that's what I wanted because I need some of that, and then I need gray. Um, okay, I'm thinking, I'm doing maths. I'm sorry, <laughs> maths is never a smart I do live. Yeah, you always got to keep one. It, it's just... Yeah. <laughs> I have been stuck in the nether so many times and running around trying to... I remember once I'm using a fire charge because I found one in the nether fortress and it was the only thing I then just ran. I know there would have been another chest probably around the corner that had a flint and steel in it, but I I just took me like a couple of hours to find the fort. Yeah, all sorts of issues, but great. Grey stained glass. Yes. Make lots, because I think I am gonna use the whole block. Oh, thinking about it, actually, I don't need to. Maybe if I did it as paint, it would add a lot more depth to this already. But I'm, I'm just, all I'm really thinking of doing is going, that's going to work. And just do this around and then go up like two blocks and just do the same thing. Um, and that one? Yeah. And this will give it that little bit more depth. I could actually. Here's the brain working again. Or overworking. Uh, move that over there. And I will grab... Because I don't have any granite coming up here, do I? I've got the red in the middle tower and those little bits that i done today. But just bring that little bit of colour into it. Put a couple of them in. I love the way these turn into centre slabs. Vertical centre slabs. The day they brought that into the game and fixed the whole wall mechanic, I certainly was a happy camper. And silk touch. And silk touch. I'm just saying it out loud so I know. Because I hate wasting anything. Unless I've got like six double chests of it. When I took down the mountain for the shopping district. Yeah, I didn't care. By the end of it, I had so much dirt. It was crazy. But I'll just... Okay, okay, okay. Um, I have, yeah. I was hoping that I had grabbed some. So I'll bring that one in one more. Okay, I can't do it there. That's fine. I don't have a problem with that. 
as long as it's all symmetrical, like just the brain enjoys seeing it have that red yellow pattern. No, I'm happy with that. Wait. Now I will continue up here. And thought so. Just remembering how the actual pattern works. And it is the exact ah same pattern all the way around. But I'm one of those people that I don't find it too hard to knock out that one block so you can actually see, as long as it is the right block to knock out. And there we go. It, patience. Um, and don't be afraid to give it a go. Like, I only started playing Minecraft um, at the end of 2019. Um, throughout the pandemic, I spent a lot of time playing. Um, but I also had a very essential job of public cleaning. So I was extremely tired. And there was nothing better than coming home and just jumping on Minecraft, um, even jumping into like creative world and playing with the blocks. Um, I also spent a lot of time watching other builders. Um, as I said, I'm a huge um, Hermacraft fan. They're some of the best examples out there of Minecraft build. They play Java, but it's still all the same. Um, but no, I, I, I enjoy it. I'm trying to learn. The only part of the game I can't get is um, um, PvP and, and platforming, like what people call parkour. Um, I call it platforming. Because no parkour just jumps from a flat surface to flat surface. It's not quite how it works. I have to take breaks from big builds. Even small builds I can't finish or go on. Yeah, I got into Twitch this year because I hit a mental block. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't. I got a like joint disorder. Um, that's kind of why I don't play on the keyboard. I need to have a controller because on a controller I'm using my whole finger, um, not just half of it. And after, wow, this one's high. After no time, I can find it quite difficult. I think that's going to work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, you, like, you definitely understand um, why a keyboard is like difficult it's that fine finger mo motion that i just yeah no not my friend yeah and um it's my life now so i just like everything it's just a hurdle finding a way around it um like I'm 
gonna be streaming probably not for a huge amount longer probably for another like maybe 20 minutes because um i can only sit for so long um because like my spine is my major issue but nothing i can't deal with Yeah, yeah, okay. Well. Wow. Oh, I just. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And just finding the ways around it. Um, I certainly don't. You know what I mean? Dwell on what I can and can't do. Um. Ah! I think that's one of the reasons why I like this game, because it doesn't matter. Um, everything can be rebuilt. Everything can be modified. How much of that stuff did I grab? <laughs> um, and... <laughs> yeah, completely. Um, why I got into streaming was to get my brain doing something else, being a lot more active. Um, and I got told by quite a few people that some of my builds I should get out there. Um, I've been told that I'm, yeah, I can definitely do a decent build. And the way, that's too close. It will just frustrate me after no time being right up against the wall trying to build. Um, and the way that I do redstone is a little bit different, as you saw with my my um, farm area. Don't think I should take that out. Um. can also be good. I've only had maybe two bad experiences in my streaming. Um, the first one, I, you know, I mean, the mod pretty much dealt with it um, before I noticed it. And the other one, because, yeah, I have anxiety, depression issues. Um, yeah, that's a long story. But I'm also been a performer for most of my life, so it was easier for me to step into. But you just need to find some decent mobs, uh, mods. Yeah, well, um, it's just giving it a go. Don't be afraid, because it actually can be really great for your self-esteem too on those updates. Um, just remembering that not every day is going to be a bad one, and not every day is going to be a good one. And do it for yourself. Just have fun with it. Um, I now have probably about 10 streamers that I get notified when they go live and I'm like pretty much straight on to them within like, if not minutes, within the first 10 minutes of them streaming. Um, Babu, the one that they co-host for, is one that I get notified for, which I sat around talking with them, with um, a great group of people um, that all somewhat like group chat um, yeah, and then you jump over. But I would highly suggest giving it a go. Um, I'm more than happy to... Ah, <gasps> uh, ah, uh, um, um, bed, bed, bed. I've got too many villagers. Ah. Uh... Oh, I'd like to think that I'm just a standard Aussie, but 
I can't say that either because there's plenty of Aussies out there that are difficult. I'm more than happy for people to learn, and I am more than happy, yeah, to try and bring a smile to people's day, have a giggle, have a laugh, um, at my expense any time, <laughs> um, especially like when I'm like performing, as I see streaming is no different than being on a stage, or when I was, I got none left. Um, I'm doing radio spots. Um, but yeah, that's where I find it difficult. <laughs> I, why, 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 why? Like, that means I can't open it. I'm sorry, I just... That type of stuff. It's like, I didn't do... Yeah, I did. But I didn't do it. Well, don't stand on that. Um, What did I see someone using? One of these... I can't remember what it was. I know, I saw someone using this to look like the wheels of a conveyor belt. Like, underneath a conveyor belt. So it looks like the wheels. Um, I wish you could put them upside down. Because I would really, really think that would be cool for like cars. Um, to have the use of the only wheel in the game. Um, like for the car. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, which level am I... That one. I just th saw then. I probably don't need to be moving this scaffolding, do I? Nah. <laughs> I've been going up and down the scaffolding when I didn't need to at all. Oh, at least I didn't work it out on the last wall. Oh, at least now. Mm. Yeah, I should. See, I can reach. And I can reach. And I can reach. <laughs> but no, I, I would support anyone to give streaming a go. Give it. If, if you like gaming and so forth, and it is something that you want to do. Um, yeah. I think it's. Quite an enjoyable way to make your gaming like world more exciting for yourself. Um, like I'm hoping to be getting into a variety of more games soon. Um, I will be keeping up the uh, family friendly atmosphere that I have here. Um, that's why I have to approve certain things on the wall and stuff like that. Um, I don't really have anyone moderating at the moment. Because now I've got the two screens. Not, not a problem. And you got to remember, like, we only know each other off here. So there's no bias. It's not like we're... we're we're taking you as face value is probably the best way to say it. So it's not like... Yeah. Um, um, whoa, that confused my brain. I don't know why. When I was coming down then, and it was lined up like that, and then this block popped out of there, it was like, ooh. <laughs> Um, like, I do a lot of work with, um, Deco, and I am working up making a group of streamers, there's like eight or nine of us, 
that are all going to start working together on a new realm idea that I've got cooking. Um, I'm going to get really into the organising of it the beginning of next year. Just everyone's on holidays at the moment or like here in Australia, we've actually got school holidays, the summer school holidays. So what America has during this summer, where, you know what I mean, in summer now, so we're, we're doing that now. So there's Aussies that are very occupied until the end of January. They have dropped in a couple of times, like dot, like that's that's bab, um, baboos, like co-hosting person. Um, certainly, like look up dot. Um, there's also Centurion Nine. Um, they're one of my favourites too, and they've been extremely helpful. Um, they're another Aussie streamer. Um, Zeko, I do a lot of stuff with. Um, but on my Discord, every streamer, I actually put up a link when they go live. So it's actually up on one of the channels there. Um, yeah, cheap little ad for my Discord. It's the best way to keep in, in touch with the group and also... Yeah, some other streamers, not everyone um, that I put up there are part of the streaming group. But um, I really enjoy their streams. And if it's people that I've been watching for like weeks and jump straight onto, I, I put it up. Oh, it would, I don't. It would be funny for them to come into this world. It would be absolutely hilarious. Because if they came into this world, I would probably do a co-op with them. And, and like, of course, you as well, being um, their co-host. And, yeah, having some silliness. So, um, yeah. Like, I've got a PvP arena here. I'm working on a second PvP arena as well um, in an old, like, woodland mansion. But that's all in time. So, but it's looking extremely positive that my channel is going to be going through some growth. But, yeah, I started streaming... I think it was April, March this year, um, when I got told I couldn't work anymore. I, I had to do something to keep my brain occupied. Um, so I started streaming. I wanted to have a look at that. I actually wanted to fall. <laughs> I'm like, get away from the edge. Wings. And... Rocket. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's what I wanted, cool. But yeah, this all of this build has all been improv building because of everything that I've done. Yeah, I, I think it's worked out really, really nice. Um, this next level, I'm not going to do the win, I don't know, don't know. But it's, yeah, probably going to be it for me. Oh, I was hoping that was going to give us a better angle. Okay, mushroom time. Okay, there's a hole in the centre of the mushroom here for scaffolding. So. <laughs> but yeah, this mushroom is pretty big. No, I'm happy with that. I think we've made some really good progress today. But yeah, I'm going to have to probably call that a wrap. Um, just give me a second. Ooh, wrong button. Uh, duh, duh. 
push the wrong button. Um, but yeah, I'm not actually going to... <sighs> not a problem. Like, next time, or this same time next week, I'll be continuing on some more build. I might jump on here. Um, oh, no, nah, I'm on the Orchid Kingdom every other day. And I come across here every, like today's Friday for me. And every Friday I jump on and I do a little bit more here. So thank you very much for all dropping by. Um, I would usually do a raid, but there's none of the small streamers on. But... I highly suggest you jump over to um, Centurion 9. They commented a lot earlier off. Um, but I've also got a link up on my Discord for them. Let me see if I can go... Hey, 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 I might be able... Oh, put that in there, because you can't copy and paste. The good old Saint. Um. Yep, that's it. Interior nine. And they're they're a good watch. They're a really good watch. Like um, yeah, good old dots. I find very entertaining. And Centurion Nine is playing a new world at the moment. Um, and then there's also another group that I've worked with in the within the past called the Basement, and they're also streaming at the moment as well. And um, they're doing Minecraft. Um, oh, vis Visitor's Week to their Java server. So, they're a couple that are active at the moment. Um, yeah, but Centurion has been a big supporter. But nah, I would just like to say thank you very much for everyone coming by and checking it all out. Um, go check out those other streamers that I have mentioned and have yourselves a great day. Bye!